ready to fight. Ready. Good. All right, here's the bona fide welterweight contender, Bilal. Remember the name, Muhammad. This man has been a force, really, ever since he stepped foot in the UFC. But over the last two years, his wrestling and his grappling and his pressure game have gone to an entirely different level. As such, he has vaulted into the top five in the world. And if he can win this fight tonight, don't look now, but Muhammad might be challenging for the title later this year. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. That was a good, nice. Oh, he kicked me in the head. Oh, oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. There you go. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the mat? Mohammed's back in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to bottom. Pretty well defensively. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, strong reversal on the ground here. 
Now he's going full mount. Yep, got to be very careful there. Muhammad's in half court. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Rachmanov's back in full mount. He's got to find a way to get back to his feet. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Rachmanov. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Armbar tip. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. Oh, submission defense. He gets out. but much better to get this arm snap and half from an arm. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. A nice kick there by Rachmanov. Job at least staying upright on that. Nice strike lands. He's now getting that left hand home to the dark. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low just to fight over the top. With that beautiful overhand. Great punch. So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to be feeling everything that he's just bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, you got to think that's oh, Man, this is wild. These guys are both throwing everything with fight-ending intentions. A nice inside leg kick right there. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Straight right hand now just misses. Takedown defense is there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Going to the knee strike now. Oh, another knee by Bilal Muhammad. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Big shot lands for both guys. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big kick. So Rachmanov's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Final seconds of round four. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, he got saved by the bell there. He was getting absolutely starched on the ground, grounded and pounded. Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back. Ready fight. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that 
nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your strength. Oh, perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those. Like that. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made the perfect. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. Oh. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Rachmanov. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that point. Oh, there we go. Get the ball here. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, big shots raining down. Beautiful transition. Oh, Shavkat Rahmanov gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Good punch, Lance. Muhammad's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Oh, there's a takedown attack. Oh, right the elbow, right the it was perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting. Oh, oh, nice jab up top by Muhammad. Oh, he's got a guillotine. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense. Keeps everything oh, big, big shots here. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. Oh, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not... Ready, fight. Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Effective jab there by Rockmore. Tonight. I mean, over and over, take down the tip after take down the tip, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. That was a slick transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes. Oh, heavy shots raining down. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Muhammad's able to transition back to side control now. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the key at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, how about it? Just with the doctor order, he gets back to the feet. John, it's like a Hail Mary. He needed to get up to his feet to give himself an opportunity. He got there. Now let's see if he can cash in. So Rachmanov's able to land the strike right there. And... Massive, massive good land. And his opponent, C. 
seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, big left hook there. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep bait, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. So Rachmanov, he's going guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. The official decision is in, it resides with Bruce Brown. We go to the judges score cards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. The winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed USC Walter Wade champion of the world. The law remember the name. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champion. He, under 